All right, we're doing something a little bit different today. Welcome to Faithfully Bearded. I'm Tyson, and we're venturing out of our comfort zone a little bit and skipping out on the beard talk today just slightly. I will probably find a way to get beards in there. In fact, I will. But today, I want to talk to you guys about another men's grooming solution that we all might have. And that solution is body soap bar soap. We have all seen it. We've all been there. A lot of beard companies sell it. But this one company in particular I've been seeing around I wanted to try out. And it's called Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch. And it's got a logo on here, kind of like a Sasquatch. Uh, but they call themselves Dr. Squatch. And I've been doing... I've, I've seen them around. I think their promos are hilarious. And I've checked out the website. Really like what they... Uh, our advertising. So I really felt compelled to purchase uh, a few bars of soap from them. And then while I was doing that, I also saw that they have shampoo and conditioner. So I picked those up and I've been using them for a couple weeks. And I just wanted to let you guys know my opinion on this, how the product works. And we're going to start today with the soap. So when you get the soap, it's a five ounce bar of soap and it comes in a package just like this. So you got their logo on there. Uh, you got like this one's deep sea goat's milk. And then you have a story on the back. It says it was made in the USA. Um, so here you go. Made from five natural oils, no harsh chemicals, handcrafted. And this is recyclable. So you, you get a little privacy, little see-through hole right here where you can go ahead and smell it. And this is just like a clean... Uh, almost like a clean linen type scent. And then we got eucalyptus and Greek yogurt. Now these ones I haven't used yet, as you can see, and I'll get to that in a second here. But you got a nice size brick here. It's a five ounce size brick, and it's pretty big. I mean, it, it fits in the palm of your hand and it, it feels big. Uh, the price is pretty good. So one of these bars here, here you see the citrus one. One of these bars here is gonna set you back uh, $7. But if you uh, soapscribe, what they call it, soapscribe, get it? You know, like you're subscribing, but to a bar of soap. So you soapscribe. Come on. Where's, where's the comedy here? I'm bringing it to you on this Saturday. And so if you subscribe to this, you can pick how many bars you want and the time frame that you want it. I didn't subscribe, I just purchased some because I didn't know how long they were gonna last. On the website, it says that these bars of soap are gonna last you anywhere from two to three weeks depending on your household use. Now, I've been using it for two weeks now and I use soap in the shower every single day. One thing that you should be forewarned about or just know is if you use handmade, like homemade soap like this, even from beard companies, or anybody that kind of makes homemade soap, you really need a soap dish uh, to put your your soap in when you're done with the shower. If you just leave it sitting in the shower and you got the it's all wet and water underneath it, when you pick it up next time, it's going to be a melty mess and you're going to lose a lot of the soap. So if you get one of those soap savers or soap dishes, um, and Dr. Squatch sells them on their site, but you can get them anywhere uh, realistically. Amazon has them for a couple dollars. In fact, maybe I'll just link some down below uh, for you guys, but... Uh, you get a soap saver and you put it on there if you're going to leave it in the, the shower. I recommend taking it out of the shower. And so what I did with that, I'll show you here, is you have this bar right here. And this bar is their pine tar soap. Now, I really like pine tar soap. And you can see in here it's got these ex these things, the exfoliating, the exfoliators. You rub them on your skin, they exfol exfoliate your skin, they get that dead skin off. And so as you can see here, I pull this one out of the shower and I just put it right uh, on my soap saver. And for the purpose of this video, I just threw it back on the box. So you can kind of see how it compares. I've used this for about a week now, every day in the shower, this particular bar. And it hasn't really lost a lot of its size. So I really think I could get this to last a month. Um, but again, it, it, there's so many variables. It depends on how many times are you scrubbing yourself in the shower. You know, I kind of go over my body once and call it good. 
Then I get up in the beard when I'm washing my beard too and get it down to the skin so I use a little bit more uh, when I'm washing my beard. So that's how I'm tying in the beards to this is this is the pine tar soap and I did use this on my beard. So the little story on the back of the box here says we all have human obligations but as men we we still desire to be wild, free, and natural like a Sasquatch. Turn your shower up a notch and unleash your inner man with Dr. Squatch. Soap that's full of the simple and natural ingredients your body loves and deserves. Now, I think if we're into beards and natural soaps, that this soap is really, really good. Uh, I think the price is right. I mean, maybe $7 seems like a bit much for a five ounce bar of soap, but a lot of uh, companies that are selling, you know, uh, handmade soaps and things like that, the price is really actually pretty on point. I mean, the only thing that's really more expensive than is those like Dove and, and uh, Irish Spring and stuff that you would get at Walmart or Walgreens or something. But we know that this soap is going to be uh, 10 times better. So if you're not buying your soap from a beard company, which I definitely recommend you do. I, do, I really like... Uh, being able to get my beard products and soap all in one. But if they don't have bars of soap or something like that, Dr. Squatch is uh, really good and I would recommend their bars of soap for their price. You do have some different scents as well. So like the pine tar soap isn't overpoweringly, pow, overpoweringly, 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 is that a word? That's a word, right? It's not overpoweringly pine tar. It still has a good scent to it. But things like eucalyptus and Greek yogurt, I mean, this is something that your ladies would like to smell, something that they would probably use on themselves. So as a man, I think about that stuff. Pine tar can have a very specific scent. And if my wife doesn't like it, why do I want to rub it all over my body and then go climb in bed with her, right? So I like to use scents that my wife would like. So there we go. I'm going to pick something that maybe Maddie would wear or something that she at least appreciates the scent of so when we snuggle up I don't smell something bad to her. As a man, I take that into consideration. Next we have uh, Dr. Squatch Men's Moisturizing Shampoo. Now this was a little bit more expensive, um, but things that I like about this is right on here it says Men's Moisturizing Shampoo. 100% natural sulfate and paraben free. I like that. I can respect that for people that might not know that. If it's sulfate free, it's basically taking some of the stuff out that uh, a lot of manufacturers are now going and taking sulfates and parabens out of their shampoos and their stuff that's going to go in your hair and your face. Um, so these guys don't have it. But right on the directions is something that us in the beard world can appreciate. It says right on here not to wash your hair with shampoo every day. Now in the beard world, we know we don't wash our beards every day. We co-wash them or we use a conditioner on them um, every day. And we wash them maybe twice a week, maybe once a week with an actual wash or shampoo. Now this says you can use it two to three times a week and I don't see why not. I didn't feel like it was super, super stripping um, in my hair, but it is something where if you're going to use the shampoo, you're going to want to follow with a conditioner. Now the scent on this was, was uh, really good. It's got like tea tree in it. Um, and things like that but um, what I really like is some of the, the vitamins and stuff that are in here so you have like nettle which is a, a vitamin that is is great for growing uh, the strength of your hair so you get this here in an eight ounce bottle and like I said I think it's a little expensive uh, but when you compare it to like some of the higher end like salon shampoos that your wives out there might use. I mean, this stuff's just really on point with the pricing. It's it's just comparable to them. And then you could get yourself a men's daily conditioner. All right, so daily conditioner. It says to use this daily, and this is a 12 ounce bottle, uh, but this one has calendula oil in it, and I really like that because it's it helps to repair your, your dry scalp and moisturize your hair. This scent on this one is like a citrusy scent. So you don't really notice it, I don't feel like, too much while you're putting it in. But then when you hit it with warm water to wash it out, it is really good. Now, I didn't try this on my beard because I just stick with my beard, co uh, my beard conditioners that I would normally use for my beard. Um, but this did leave my hair uh, tangle-free when I got out of the shower and, and brushed it. I felt like it was uh, just fine. Again, I think it was something like, 
I think it was something like 20 bucks maybe for both of these. I don't know. Don't quote me on it because I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it was a little more. I'm not 100% sure, but these last for quite a while. You don't really need a whole lot of these. Just a little dab in your hand. And, you know, for men with short hair, probably a little bit less. I have uh, medium length hair. Uh, you just can't see it with the hat on. But uh, I follow uh, the directions on the bottles. And these have lasted me for, for quite a while for the size that they are. Now, they also do sell like colognes. They have like a bar holder, and a, like a soap saver, and a whole bunch of different other things on their website. But their website is actually really entertaining. And I take that into account when I when I buy products is if they have a really cool website, something that I can get into, something that makes me laugh, if the marketing's good, um, it, it's worth it to me to try it out. And I think for the size that you get, the price is just fine uh, with an all-natural soap. The scents are good, but more importantly, the cleaning power is really good. I feel nice and clean when I get out of the shower using these. And again, you know, there's so many variables of how many times you scrub yourself as to how long the uh, bar of soap will last. Also, whether or not you have soft water or hard water at your house, um, because with soft water, you do uh, see soaps uh, suds up quite a bit more. So you f you're probably using less because you feel like you're getting more sudsy as compared to with hard water. Um, it doesn't suds up as much, so you're probably scrubbing a little bit more to try to get uh, more suds because it's just a mental thing where we uh, think we feel cleaner. So that's what uh, my uh, review on uh, Dr. Squatch. I think it's pretty good. It's, it's going to be something that I'm going to keep around. I don't know if I'll continue to use the shampoo and conditioner. Um, nothing wrong with them. I just don't know if um, I'll continue to buy them. A lot of times I just use beard. Uh, you know, like normal pine tar soap or something like that for my hair, uh, for shampoo, and then uh, like a beard co-wash, something I'd use in my beard as my conditioner for my hair so I don't have a bunch of different uh, products. Um, but the soap is something that uh, when these run out that I really am going to have to consider buying more of. I don't think I'm going to skip out on it. It just, you know, kind of depends on how things are going in the beard world and if I have soap. If I don't, I'm going to go back to Dr. Squatch and order up some more of this. And I actually would gift this, you know, for Christmas or something like that or birthdays to other men that maybe think they're too manly uh, to really purchase soaps or don't really care about their soaps because I think it's important that we care about our bodies and our skin and our hair. So I would give this to other men um, that it could benefit in their life as well. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried Dr. Squatch and what you think if you have. If not, go ahead and check out their website and I will link a soap saver uh, below as well. I definitely recommend if you're going to get any kind of homemade soap or handmade soap or all natural soap that you put it in a soap saver to save yourself from wasting any of that extra soap. So until I talk to you guys again soon, have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And if you are new here, I don't normally do soap stuff, but I can throw some in every every now and then. More so we're about beards, beard care, tips, tricks, and all of the above related to that facial fur on your face. So until I talk to you guys again soon, hit that subscribe, that like, and that bell so you know when I put out any new videos or live streams, and God bless you all.